fun, guys. No fun. I had to come through here for delivery. No choice. And there's slow trees. It says 12. It started raining again. Then I thought it stopped raining. It caught me outside. I was almost finished. Uh, we do have a pickup, which I already did call and updated my time, my ETA there, because I had given them approximately 1 o'clock, but it's already given them a little bit of time. Quarters of a mile, turn right on a coma drive. This is no fun, guys, no fun. I had to come through here for a delivery, no choice. And there's low trees, it says 12.6. I already came the other way. We already made that stop, but we got a lot of stop to make. It's a very close one because I'm actually like 13.2. But uh, we made it. We made it. Way to start the Monday morning. Sorry I didn't uh, start, start to the video, but uh, I'll do that introduction a little bit right now. Just wanted to show you a little bit on the uh, low hang, excuse me, low Turn trees right I deal with. Turn right Drive. GPS keeps trying to take me off this road, but we just got about a mile, mile to go. The trees are done. And uh, we'll get back on the highway, go to our second stop in Sanford, Florida. Welcome to the channel. Stressful Monday morning. And this. Sure, we got us unloaded, but we're in our second stop. I'm gonna go check in and find out. These gates are uh, pretty narrow here. I'm gonna have to block the gate real quick. finish all loading us there he already signed our paperwork which is what I'm doing here guys you can see me um, send it in real quick we have to do a three four point turn or something here to back in and get out they've got a very narrow gate coming in and getting out so it's kind of annoying we got big trucks coming in here Oh yeah, I just took off one of my uh, trailer tires. This is the things that ruin your day. Freaking little nail. Half of a nail. Luckily it was in the thick part of the tire. And uh, it didn't go all the way in, so not leaking. we get our load information. Come on. 
fill out these sheets. We scan them in real quick. We gotta get the right low number to put in here. That's how we get paid. Now with this load, we're covering deductions this week. And we're getting a little bit on the positive side as well. So that's good to start. So just gotta put the information here. And I'm just, if you see me sideways, I'm not trying to <laughs> step on um, my clean side of the truck as much as I can. That's how you do it. Try to keep the truck clean. Today's the 13th. This week is inspection week. It is Monday, the time I recorded this, and it's the uh, DOT inspection week. So, today's 13. We're going to stay out this week. We'll see how it goes. Should be all right. The only tires, the tires are good. We're good in all areas. I'll say the only tires that are close to uh, that time are the back ones where I found that little nail was one of them. Which is, that's how you get ruined when... You're not planning to change some tires that can last a little while, longer still, several months. And then something like that happened right at the edge, really right at the edge, almost the edge of that thicker line of the tire, which is where a lot of truck stop loves and TA and so forth. They refuse to try to patch them or anything if they're not close to the corner. So you know that if it's leaking, they're gonna make you buy a new tire. And it's not convenient to just buy one, you gotta buy two. Now, I got, what I need to do is I got a uh, good tire still at home for the trailer tire. I need to put that one, that sucker on the trailer and switch it for the uh, drive tire that I currently have under there. That's what I need to do next time I'm home. I need to switch those around because I replaced everything else already. So if anything happens like that, I can try to just get a local person to come and switch out and just put me that tire on there rather than have to buy a new one. So right now, if that happens, so I just need to be cautious and uh, have that on there. So. All right, paperwork sent. We're gonna back out of here. We got a reload, small reload, not paying great. We're just gonna go to Lake City, Florida and uh, load some insulation, which doesn't weigh nothing, about a uh, 8,000 pounds. But we gotta there, be there by two and maybe we're two hours away. So it is 10.30, should be no problem to get in there. But it is hot, we gotta get out of here. It is hot, man, it's hot in Florida. It's already almost 90 degrees, I think. <laughs> and it's 10 30 in the morning summertime baby summertime is here well we're gonna i think i'm gonna put shorts yeah i think i'm gonna put shorts in now after i get loaded again but paperwork sent just go double check the trailer there's some rocks in the back see how i'm gonna back out of here and get out and boogie out boogie out so see you guys in a minute Here, you guys gonna see the man let's make this so tight got shit on the right I got pipe on the right pipe on the right shit on the left it's the places they make us come from time to time you guys see that gate it's not that wide so I gotta go out in an angle and then they have this stupid bucket right there like really I'm just gonna go wide I'm gonna turn it all the way to the left here oh I'm gonna back up FedEx yeah
couple of minutes. I got a bunch of rocks on the back of the trailer, so I'm gonna sweep those, pull my broom out and sweep those up real quick. So I'm gonna do that. Gear to, um, what up? We're here in our pickup. We're parked in already, checked in real quick. Uh, we're picking up some insulation, which we haven't done, haven't done in over a year. I don't think I've picked up any insulation in over a year, so it's been a minute. Um, it's 138. We're going a short run to uh, Greenville, South Carolina. It's barely paying two bucks a mile um, to the truck but it just gets me out of Florida. We do have a reload coming back into Florida, a little further south, but that one's paying um, almost $4 a mile. So it's gonna recompensate for the extra fuel to get out. And uh, it works as it's back to back. And it seems to be a little bit slowish. So, um, that's what we, sorry, I'm looking at a guy walking around the front because uh, he got the poles to put the uh, insulations, uh, edge protectors. I had a pole for the edge protectors um, that I'm going to have to use here. I had a pole to use for the edge protectors, but um, the, it broke off the, uh, the pole, the extender, which I have no idea where he's at, to be honest. I could probably make it work. If I, you know, I could probably work on it for today. You know, I got plenty of Gorilla Tape. I could tape it all the way to the pole, but I'll have to find it. And I'm not sure. I got the pole on right here, on, you know, on the side door, but I'm not sure if I, I, I threw that thing in there. I, I, I think so. Anyway, we'll figure it out. But they got some like PVC pipe made up poles for drivers to be able to use. You just gotta share them. I see one over there against the, the tent, the net. And I know it's also it's raining, so you can see the rain here on my on your screen. It is raining. I'll touch you guys around. But it just started raining. Florida afternoon. Afternoon rain. Um, we are in Lake City, Florida, by the way, if I say that. That's where we at. So we deadheaded here a couple, like two and a half hours. Is it two and a half hours? Yeah. About two hours. Two, two hours we get headed up here. Oh, two and a half. I'm all I'm all over the place. It's Monday for me, guys. So, but anyway, we got this load. We got a reload. We're gonna come back into Florida. Now we're gonna deliver that one on Wednesday, probably midday, and we're gonna lose the rest of the afternoon driving back north to Florida. Um, so the next reload should be then on Thursday. So I I'm gonna be looking for a Thursday, Friday load, either you know maybe out of here, Lake City again, or maybe maybe if we find something out of uh, Orlando area, if we get lucky, um, something to get me back out. So that that would be the goal. But anyway, we're looking for something for Thursday to pick up Thursday and hopefully do a Thursday, Friday, and then get Friday get a weekend load that pays well somewhere for the weekend. It's, it'll be our uh, last weekend out. At least that's the plan. It'll be our third and final week out, and then uh, we'll work on next week, and hopefully go home next weekend and stay home for about you know stay home for the week. So we'll see we'll see how that plays out. But for right now, that's where we're about today. And today is not over yet. So we, we're restricted to stay here and wait to get loaded in here. Um, we can't all, we can't strap anything in the base. It's prohibited. So basically, truckers go out there and get wet if it's raining. Sorry, that's that's the rule. So we'll do with that. We'll put our rain jacket on, or maybe the, it stops raining by the time it's time for me to start strapping. So we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> 
started raining again. Then I thought it stopped raining. It caught me outside. I was almost finished. Gloves are wet. Put them in the dash. Let them dry up there eventually. Shirts all soaked. Pants, shoes. So I'm gonna change real quick. And uh, before we get on the road, oh, this is eating my time. Well, I might end up doing a split just so I can get where I want to get to. Unless I change fast enough, I still got half an hour in between. So, you guys don't want to see my butt. So, uh, we'll pause it right here. Let's get changed. Alright. Almost changed up. Everybody, you good? It's almost dinner time for you. Where are you really gotta go? Alright, prepare his food real quick. He hasn't wanted to eat lately. Like, he don't like his dry food. He eats his snacks. But, uh, until we find some, uh, change the switch his dog food. I've had some cans of, uh, being in sausages, I'm mixing his food in a little bit of water because it's salty. He tears his stuff up. So, I'm gonna prepare his meal real quick here before we get on the road because it's three o'clock and he's eating one meal a day. Uh, put a little bit more food. show you guys I hit the little split button right if I took it off it says five hours 51 minutes we need five hours 37 minutes to get to where we want to but it was like right at two hours when I was finished doing Eli's food so the split now what we're doing is on duty load 10 minutes we're gonna be about another five minutes and we'll to hit the road We'll hit the road after that. Uh, we got we're gonna go 344 miles again. This load is going to Greenville, South Carolina. Lotus installation doesn't weigh anything, but it is. Um, I will show you how I strapped it, but I do not want to get wet. Let's just say you got um, straps across each one, two in the front, two in the back, and one in each one in the middle. They don't weigh nothing, and then uh, I have crisscrosses, crisscross straps, X's in the front and the back. Uh, the front are usually a little bit more important uh, because when you're stopping out a light or anything happen, you have to hit your brakes hard. You don't want that load of insulation to start slipping forward. It's not on pallets and anything. It's really just foam pieces that makes up the little stands for where they can get the forklift under it. Um, so that's all it is. So they, they will slide forward if you don't put that cross, especially in the front. The back can also just kind of like a bounce you know move back and yeah you say well you got straps on them yeah but rain you know fixation the straps kind of adjust as your middle so you also want to put them tight but not too tight where you damage the insulation uh you have to put edge protectors as well on these on where the strap goes uh over them uh and on the crisscrosses if you can as well um but so you want to put them tight but not too tight so you got to watch i made that mistake the first time i tried securities i was in colorado i think it was and um or utah yeah in utah there's a there's one of these facilities out there some company and uh i just put it too tight 
I was going tight like I know and I didn't look up to like oh wow and it you know they didn't say anything because it's going to a construction facility or a storage facility or whatever but they didn't say anything um, at least to me but I do notice that I put them a little too tight and uh, after that I kind of learned like you have to watch you feel it a little tight you look up and you kind of you want it to squeeze you in a little bit but not too much because if you go hard on forget it like it's any other product you will damage and crunch all the insulation and then that's a claim on you so don't want to do that um, man it is really pouring down right now but um, we're gonna take off here a little bit learn our lessons uh, like I said you want to do the crisscross on those and uh, other than that it is gonna it's a little taller than the truck so it, it's gonna hit a little bit above it but it's not too bad um, the wind is the only thing that kind of you you know a little shock effect like the aerodynamics it'll go all over it over it a little bit but it will hit a little bit over the top because it's taller than the truck um, but it's not too bad even though it's a light load like it's less than 8,000 pounds the whole thing so but I think it's about time to go yeah a couple more minutes we'll hit the road and uh, so we'll be driving to around 9 15 no 9 30 <laughs> we'll be driving to around 9 30 uh, depending on traffic also tonight this will get as far as we can that means we can uh, hit going around 7 30 which is a good time usually this place is start between 7 and 8 so uh, I'm gonna give them a call real quick right now check in with the receiver and uh, go from there all right so catch you guys up when I stop tonight Alright guys, we got to our parking area here at uh, Pilot Flying J exit, what exit was that, 110, going northbound on 85 north of Atlanta, we said we took the back roads, that is our load, just want to show you our load, so it's insulation, two in the front, one on each one, you know, so it weighs less than 8,000 pounds. Some companies will make you put two straps on these ones in the middle, but we don't have to. <laughs> and then you got the crisscross in the back. In the back. And under, over, under, and over. And the same thing over at the front as well. Plenty of parking here. If you guys can see me. This camera does pretty decent on on light, so that's pretty cool. Just kicking the tires, be no problem. But uh, yeah, we're done for the night. It is about 9:30. I think I told you guys that uh, our appointment which I call the maid is for 10 a.m. but we could plan to be there at 9 9.30, 9.45 I'm going to be there probably 9.30 somewhere around there um, we're about an hour and 20 minutes 25 minutes away from when we got to deliver this load but we'll do it uh, so we're not too far we got to live here around 8, 8.15 and uh, we'll go deliver in the morning so that is the plan. Right now I need to eat, take a shower, try to relax. It's going to be another hectic day tomorrow. So 
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. We'll find out. Peace.